Hey guys, we're going to take a look at how you set up the clientele feature. So you go into the create app section of your apps and in the build section, you come on over here and find the clientele where it's, here's the clientele. So the clientele and the videos for users work together. Um, the clientele is only for staff. The video users, uh, for users is for, um, your customers. So this is, uh, the clientele enables you to connect with your staff in a way, uh, with text messaging without them even having to have the app. But you're not able to send videos to your client because the size of the video files are way too big uh, to go over text messaging. So what we've done is we've added the ability for you to add video files inside of the app. So the clientele feature was, uh, you can actually send messages to your uh, customers via text messaging where they don't need the app. But if you're sending video files, you need to have this set up and then they would, they would need to have the app available. This is a, a, a feature on your home screen. You would add a button on your home screen that says videos or media or whatever you want to call it. And when you send a video, you can send a message saying, okay, there's a video in your, in your media folder or whatever, media button, and then that video would only be for that specific customer. Okay, I hope that's clear. Um, coming back over here to your, uh, in, logging into the app here. So let's just log back in here. So we're gonna log in and how you set this up is um, you need, first of all, to have employee schedule set up. This has to be set up. If this is not set up, you will not be able to use the clientele feature. You need employees to have the feature to be able to use that. Uh, and then the customer list over here, you can set the employees up here or they can actually download the app one way or the other. Um, the employees now, if I'm not mistaken, you need to have the main employee, the, the guy that you set the, the admin. So the, when you set the, the app up, whoever that um, email was that you used, that's got to be the first email or uh, employee or not the first one, but at least that has to be set up uh, as an employee as well. Sh let me go back to that for a second. Sorry to be jumping around on you. Okay, so here we come back here. So you see over here, in this case, there's the, um, the email that was set up is called info at blue.ca. That email needs to be inside of the client, um, uh, admin feature, right? So that's gotta be a customer email as well. So you add a customer that's called admin or whatever, and you would use that email that you use there. Uh, okay, so going back to the clientele, you can come over here, you would see it, it's right here. Okay, there's a the clientele features. We've got a different video on how this is used. This is just talking about the setup. Uh, on your home screen, how do you, how do your staff see the clientele feature? Uh, you come over here, here's the home screen for this specific app. And down here is we have, we have another image. Now this can, the, you can't map the clientele out on your normal home screen because it's only meant for staff. Only certain login credentials can see this feature, can use this feature. So it cannot be on, on a screen that you've got other functions on. Okay. So get that, make sure you understand that. You add a different image here. Right, and when you add that image, you get this screen. You would select your image, call it whatever you like, and the function would now be called clientele. Okay, so you would need a separate image, the same way that you would need a separate image for the hub, the same way that you, is is the same way you need a, uh, a separate image for the clientele. The same thing for the employee schedules. These are these are tabs only employees can see. Your regular customers that download the app that don't have access will not see these tabs. All right, so that's why they have to be on separate images and they can't be the same. So you can't put clientele and employees on the same um, image. They've got to be two separate images. They can be whatever size you want them to be, but uh, they've got to be independent of the home screen image. Okay, so this is the clientele feature here. The videos for users, now that one, you could put a button here saying media or videos or whatever, and then that can be mapped on the main screen because customers are going to have access to that. Okay, so that's where you set this up. This is set up here. It's, it's mapped out as a clientele feature. And that's how your employees will have access to the, uh, to the feature. Yeah, so essentially that's it in a nutshell. Um, you've got it in your feature section right here. Uh, you need to have separate image on your home screen set up. And, uh, and that's it. I mean, you've got, uh, you're good to go. If you need to, to see how to get the most out of the uh, clientele feature, there, watch the other video on clientele uh, on our YouTube channel. Thanks.